I'm in England, but she lives in Netherlands now. Yeah. And how old are you? I'm Tracy here on Facebook. And um, uh, and that is my um, my, my activist name. And okay. So you do uh, plastics yeah. and climate? Yeah, and climate change. I do school striking every Friday outside the town hall in Zeiss. Wow. Zeiss town hall. Every Friday you strike with yeah. climate. Good for you. And um, do you have many other classmates that join you? Um, well, classmates don't really join me, but they do. Um, but, but usually when people, when, um, when, when, uh, when students are on their bikes and when passing by, they say, yeah, this is really good, school striking for the climate, yeah. Oh, awesome, well Yeah, they done. also do the school striking symbol, which is this, if you didn't know. That? Great. And, um, what, what got you started? Why, why did you decide to strike from school and, and... Uh, protest plastics. Well, how I started with plastic pollution, which was the first one, this started in 2015 when me and my grandpa were, um, were walking, um, and and, um, uh, and and this was at a time when I couldn't really speak in Dutch very well, so we decided to count the pieces of plastic um, while we were walking and guess how much we picked up. And so you were counting in Dutch to learn the language? Yeah. Counting the plastic pieces? Yeah, so try and guess how, how much, try and guess. Hmm, you were just learning the language, so maybe you got to 20? 91 pieces of plastic. Wow! That many. And and that's a lot for just 20 minutes to 15 minutes of walking. Oh, that is a lot. Too much, some would say. Too much. Huh. So, what did you do about it? So, you, you learned yeah, so to I count just, to 91, yeah, so I just thought, good thing. Oh, okay, this is bad, I need to... Clean it up, but then my grandpa told me that everything that falls on the ground will somehow make its way to the ocean. Doesn't matter how long it takes, it might take a week, a month, even a year, but it'll somehow make its way to the ocean and into the waterways. And a year is really just a flash in the pan for the life of plastic, isn't it? Mm -hmm. mm, a year, I mean, for something that's gonna last a thousand years, well, a year is just. Psh yeah, it's just like, that's just for like two weeks. I yeah. can, I can finish all the level, I can, I can level up all of my dragons in that much time. Me too! Um, so, so then what did you do? So you, you were like, this is something that I care about. Yeah. What, what made you feel like you could do something about it? Well, because I've always loved nature, and I also always wanted to work at WWF. Oh, yeah, great. Yep, yeah, uh, uh, so I thought, okay, I want to help nature. This is how I should help nature, by picking it up. Picking so, it up. And this was in 2015, and this has been going on since now. To, and, the, and, and it's 2019. Yep. Years she's been protesting and picking up this plastic. Years! And with climate change, that was only about mid-September in 2018. Okay, so that's more of your recent yeah. issue that you've yeah. gotten involved with. And this happened um, when I was watching um, YouTube. Yep. And, um, and I saw a video Like of you guys, Denver. you're watching YouTube. Yeah. Hey! So you were watching YouTube? Yeah, and uh, well, I was just watching a video, and and this video was about Greta Thunberg. She's yep. the one who started school striking. Yeah. And um, and when I saw that video, I just thought, okay, I just have to do this. Yes. So that was how it started. Great. Uh, but that um, but one thing what happened with um, when I'm usually striking is usually when people or grown ups in their late sixties they come and say and say um to my to my mum they say. They say never stop supporting her because I remember when I was when I was her age and I wanted to be an activist, but my but no one supported me, so so mm. I'm not an activist anymore. So so mm. so for all the grown ups who are watching this, support school strikers and children helping the, the planet because because if you don't support them, they'll lose that green heart that they once had, and and the green heart is um is, is what we've always had because we've been on with nature since, since since the time we since the time we were still monkeys mm. and they still have their green heart yep they're still connected to nature mm -hmm. mm. well everything is mm -hmm. beautiful words lily thank you you're welcome <laughs> oh well i i certainly feel like i'm connected to my green heart but thank you for giving me some vocabulary and some words to uh to speak about it and um so you've given some great advice to the adults uh -huh. what about to the kids well is that well is that be brave be strong and, and that 
and that you are the mouse that walks like a lion. Rawr! Yeah. Right? Yeah, is that, is, is that we are the change makers because we are the future, and the future is in our hands, not the politicians or the people who are polluting. Mm hmm. So be empowered. Yeah, and Stand that your yeah, and that your voice is the most powerful thing on this planet. Amen. Because we only have this planet. We need to take care of this planet. This now. one. <laughs> thanks, Lily. You're welcome. Oh, I love so hugs. I love hugs too. <laughs> oh, you're a good hugger. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Definitely Bye. check out We're Lily. Hearing. We're hearing.